You're welcome back to New Day here on TV3. It's now time to do sports with me, Juliet Bewa. So we'll begin from what happened over the weekend with Stephen Apia's testimony and some of the world's biggest names that were in town for that game. Four-time um, African best player of the year, that is Samuel Leto. He was also in Accra for that big game. So after the game, Stephen Apia, who was shocked by the fans who turned out at the Accra Sports Stadium service. Because I wasn't expect, uh, expecting this uh, crowd. Uh, I, knew, I knew that Ghanaians would come and support me, but not, not like this. And uh, I really appreciate what they have done. I mean, right from course, they have supported me. They have shown me love. And I'm, I'm not going to stand on today to thank them, but I've been thanking Ghanaians. And I'm really happy this evening. I'm a happy man. I have to score because it's the last game that I'm playing at the Craspo Stadium. Uh, so I was when I when the free kick was there, I was thinking where to to put. So I started thinking that I have to put it uh, on top of the wall. I did that and I scored. I'm happy. The first half, Vanessa came to me and he was like, "Oh, Daddy, you were crying." I said, "Yeah, you won't understand. When we get home, I will tell you why I'm crying because something that you love so much, something that you've been doing for years. A day you said that you're not going to do it anymore." I think it's not only Steven Apia who was emotional, but we have seen the Ronaldo's, the the Figos, and the Zidans when they they hand their career. We, we we saw how they shed tears, so it's very emotional. Best ever. I think I have played a lot of games, but I will choose the uh, when we play against Holland in uh, uh, um, Harlem. Yeah, Harlem. Yeah, I, I, I will choose that game. Now they are doing very well. Uh, at a point, I mean, in life, uh, at a point, this will be go, uh, this will be rough. It got to a time that uh, they were not playing like the way we used to see them. But during the uh, African Cup, I mean, uh, they stood on their, their, their feet and then they did very well. So they should, they should continue like that. I mean, when they wear the jersey, they have to know that they are, they are, they are, they are very fortunate because 25 million population selected 20, uh, 23 and you are part of it. I mean, you have to know that you are blessed. Right, so taking the words of um, former Black Stars captain, you have to know that you are blessed when you wear the national team, Jesse. That is the most important thing. So advice to those um, Black Stars players. But some of the players who were at the testimony also pay tribute to legend Stephen Apia. Um, I think it's a pleasure to play in this game for uh, Stephen Apia. He's a great um, person for, for the country. And uh, what he has done, I think um, there's no one that uh, can do this. I was really emotional, emotional when um, I saw the fans uh, cheering at him. He's an icon. He has done a lot for Ghana. He has done a lot for Africa. We just have to respect him as a player. And um, I think he has given um, a joy to Africa. He has given a joy to, to we as a junior brother. And uh, I think for me, he will always be blessed. And... Um, for me, he's an idol, so he always tell my idol. Stephen is a legend. You know, he has done so much for Ghana. Um, I would say he's, he's one of the best players Ghana has ever produced. You know, and um, you know he is here to inspire some of the young players. I played with him for a couple of years, and now uh, and now um, I took over his captaincy. You know, Stephen is a great leader. He's done so much for Ghana. So kudos to him. His leadership was a very very quality one, and I don't think um, anyone has done that before. But like we were the one that we were following him and we've learned a lot from from him uh very well because he's a very respectful guy and he's a very loving guy so as a person if you have these qualities you can be influential in many things it's humility and it's fun to be around him and uh, he's a team player so uh, and it was evident on what uh, he was able to do for Ghana. And, uh, a befitting uh, farewell to steven uh, which was expected, and uh, we are happy that uh, it went well. 